English is not an easy language to learn to read. Around half the words in English contain irregular GPCs, meaning phonics rules fail as often as they succeed. Why is the word was spelled like this and not this? And was is not the only odd word out there. Just look at a few of the sounds the letter A can make. Ant, ape, or father, wasp, roar, said, and of course, was. It really is no wonder that children can start to get frustrated and turn to guessing. So what is the best thing to do if a child does start guessing, or even before that if you think it's likely to happen? Well, this is where you'll find trainer text a huge help. Pictophones are our fun visual characters that represent the sounds in the English language. Trainer text has a pictophone floating above each grapheme. So now, the wizard with the lizard, the ox in red socks, and the Zuto from Pluto take all the confusion out of it. Rather than the child getting stuck on the A and the S in was, they can refer to the pictophones and sound out oo, o, z to successfully reach was. You can think of trainer text sort of like stabilizers on a bike. As the children are getting familiar with all the GPCs in English, it provides a visual scaffold to support the decoding of each word. You'll find that the child then needs the help of the pictophones less and less as they become more confident and their brain maps those letter to sound patterns. Let's have a look at how we use them in our intervention All Aboard Phonics Plus. Firstly, if a child is on stage one or two, they won't be using them yet, but in stage three, we start to use our word flashcards. The first activity in stage three, which uses the trainer text word flashcards is Go Fish. Children have to fish a trainer text word out from a hat and read it correctly in order to be able to keep it. So have the learner try to decode the word from the plain text side first. As soon as things feel tricky, flip over to the trainer text side where the plain text and pictophones are combined. Guide the learner to the pictophones so that they can correctly identify the phonemes represented by the graphemes. Trainer text makes all words easy to decode which means that children are then not tempted to start memorizing whole words by sight, which can often lead to guessing and problems with spelling further down the line. It also makes all words achievable, which is a key motivator for children who have been struggling with reading. The object flashcards have a couple of uses. They can be used in games like Post-it Spy, which first appears in the stage four lesson plan. You can lay the object flashcards out with the object image facing up for the children to then stick post-it notes on. The aim of the game is to encourage children to have a go at writing the names of the objects on the post-it note. The trainer text object flashcards can also be used as a separate activity. Ask your student to try reading the trainer text side, looking at the graphemes first, then looking up to the pictophones if they need a little bit of help identifying the phonemes. Then they can flip the card to look at the object image to see if they got the word right. These object flashcards are meant to give the students the option of self-testing, which means that they're great for older learners too, who are maybe ready for a, a little bit more independent learning. One final note on trainer text, the trainer text flashcards are included in the All Aboard Phonics Plus intervention pack, but they can also be brought into your main phonics lessons too. We've been using trainer text resources for the last 15 years with all sorts of learners, from children to adults. The results really have been magical and we can't wait for you to see the magic of trainer text in your own classrooms too.